And that's it. We're done. I can't get you to budge. Want to flip for it? Private tour. <laughs> Private yeah, tour. Private you. tour. That's worth something. He's being a, they'll have to bleep it out. This guy's playing hardball with me. Deal. <laughs> fucking bought it. You guys knew I was going to buy it. Hey guys, how's it going? Well, me and Noah were out driving around. I was surfing Facebook last night till three in the morning and I found a Camaro I wanted to look at. And so we happened to call the guy. This is Russ right here. It's good to meet you, Russ. And uh, he had us, you know, come on out. Well, we ended up coming to a place called Jack Frost Car Museum. And it's a working museum restoration shop. And I'm just blown away. This is the first building that we're in. Noah's going to do a little quick scan. This is the, what did you call this room? It's our uh, working storage facility. This is the working storage facility. Just move slow. So we're just here checking it out. Um, like I said, it's the first building we walked into, but when I walked into like what I would consider maybe his office area, like the cool old garage doors, I seen some really cool old cabinetry there. Like this is where I would want to be. So we're going to go through and see the museum. And we're going to bring it to all of you guys, so thanks for watching. It's an assembly room. What, this guy has had what with us? We're assembling a 1970 Super B, 383. He's owned for about 20 years, and uh, finally now has a chance to restore the car the way he's been dreaming of. We painted this car last month, and uh, we're beginning to assemble now. The paint scheme was his idea. The paint scheme was his idea. Two-tone black with heavy orange accents. The dash, the package trays have, would be heavy orange. Uh, the hood scoops under the deck lid and the hood is also heavy orange. When you go to shows and open the hood. You know, Russ, coming, coming from a Harley background, can't go wrong can't go with wrong. orange and black. <laughs> All right. The other shop, I seen that was a Javelin there, right? I ain't seen it. I think it matched the hood to it. And, but I'm like, Look at these doors. What are the doors from? These doors are from a historical home in Romeo. Two seven, Thank God, I thought there was a car I'd never heard of. 273 Chandler in Romeo, Michigan. 273 Chandler in Romeo, Michigan. They're restoring a house built in 1872. That's older than me. Oh, you see this guy? See this guy? Number one bullshit guy. 1872. These are nine foot doors. Come on in, Noah, get a look at how thick they are. These are mahogany doors. People don't realize, but woodworking, there is so many people into woodworking. And like, you know, like on YouTube and all kinds of, I mean, people love working with wood. It's an art. And that's a 10,000 square foot house you're restoring? Yeah. Are you helping that store too? It'll just the door so far. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. We're going to get in a later video, we'll get to, uh, plans in the house and see that. This place doesn't quit. Just met a bunch of cool people today. Unbeknownst. I come, I come, when you see what I'm looking at, you guys are going to be like, what the <laughs> You're going to be blown away at the cool stuff in here. When I say cool stuff, I get it about the cars and things we see, but look at the cool doors and and uh, the time clock. And that's the stuff I look at. The desk. It might be a modern computer. Oh, there's that house. There's that two, get close on that. 273 Chandler, 10,000 square foot that they are restoring also. Who is this, Jack? That's Dale. Dale? Nice. Luckily, Dale saved the place. It's awesome, awesome. But look at this, like the, the benches and stuff. It's just one cool shop. Later in the video, you're going to see where they're working on the javelin hood, but uh, you're going to see some badass doors and stuff. So this is where they 
you know, mechanical and do some assembly here, but mostly the mechanicals here. Check it out, it's crazy. There's Jack Frost up there. I want you to, you guys, I want you to see the plans of this house. That's a separate carriage house, a 3,000 square foot, three story carriage house. Car man's dream. Really? Are you guys fixed restoring this to sell? We're saving it first. Right. And, and then hopefully restoring it enough to sell it to someone that has the capacity to take it uh, further and uh, complete the cosmetic restoration. Right. But th these plans were drawn up by the architect to what it could be when it was restored. But you may want to get rid of the bedroom and turn it into uh, a large master. There is a huge master suite on the back of the, of the house with his and hers walk-in closet and a large uh, bathroom with a roof carriage that we have. How far is this from here? It's about six minutes away. If we get out of here before dark, guys, I might go by and shoot some stills for you. All right, Russ, I know you guys are closing at 4.30, so where are we going now? We'll grab the keys and... Uh, grab the keys, all right. This is the museum. We came up the road and this is the first thing you see, but we went through all behind the scenes of the shop, but now we're going into the museum. So I haven't seen it, so you're gonna be able to see it with your eyes for the first time, just like I'm gonna see it. So come on, Noah. <laughs> you're not gonna believe it. <laughs> you're not gonna believe it. Look at this. Awesome. God, I just love how old the building is. Jack Frost's Autorama. But guys, I did not set this up, but you got to look what's... This is Destiny. The shark. <laughs> Try to get that for Shark Club. <laughs> this looks beautiful. Tell us what this is, Russ. This is our lobby. Okay. And Jack Frost's Autorama. This holds about nine cars. Nice. I cannot believe this exists. We are Washington's best kept secret. Washington. I'll have down in the uh, description and the post, I'll have the address if you guys are interested. Oh no, you gotta see all the cool photos. And... So is this, just, this is the collection for the museum. These three vehicles were original to the estate. The 1905 High Wheeler the 1913 Fruit Farm Vehicle, and the 1922 Buick were the original vehicles. I knew the Buick, but I did not know the Fruit Farm one. <laughs> Look at them pictures up there, guys. You know me and Sandy would love to hang that stuff in our house. There's another Amex back there, ain't it? It's a 69 Javelin. Yeah, Javelin. Big Bad Blue is what they call it. Whose is that one? Belongs to the collection. Nice. Oh, a Grand National? No, Monte Carlo. Nice. Holy shit. Who's Monte Carlo? That belongs to the collection? That's a customer car. That looks really fast. On display in our museum. Nice. The AMX is sweet. Sweet. For those of you that don't know the AMXs, they only came factory two-seater cars. Am I right? Uh, the AMXs, yes. The AMX was the two-seaters. Javelins. Javelin had Javelin's had a back seat. Yeah. Yeah. I had a uh, <laughs> when I was in high school, I had a '70 Javelin SST Mark Donahue edition. Nice. To drive to high school. They see me rolling. They hate it. Coolest kid. Well, it was cool, but then of course I screwed it up because I'm a hot rodder. But that was probably one of the best cars I ever had because. It was a Mark Donahue, and it was mint, and I can remember buying it for a thousand bucks. The money you lose. We went through, like, if you walked in the front door of Jack Frost, and then we went into there. What was really cool, if you look at the, look at these cabinet trees right here. All of this stuff when Mr. Frost had passed, nothing's been touched except 
moving cars in and moving cars out. Them three that he showed us, Russ showed us them three, were original from here, but other than just moving cars in and out, nothing else has been touched. Whoever the owner is now has wanted to preserve it the way it is. But I was told I'm really gonna be surprised when I open the door here. Oh, check this out, guys. Come on, Noah, you gotta come. I don't wanna hit the TV. Whoa. Whoa. See, all this stuff was here originally. That's Jack Frost. Wow, that's Jack Frost. Let's zoom in on him. So how long did he own this or build this? He began building his estate in 1922. And the last building built on the property was in 1961 is the building that we're standing in now. This is the last building. Now, honestly, like all the paneling and the candelabra lights and all that. Everything with the exception of refinishing the floors some time ago have not been touched. Try to walk along the wall, but you go that side, it looks like more room. Just get the picture. You know, it's funny, I just, I love all the wood. <clears throat> Man, that's a good price on this car. For us? That's not it. Oh, that's not? That's, that's for the uh, M6. Oh, I didn't see. I was like, that's a really good price. Yeah, the, uh, the, the price is on the workout picture. Okay. See, that's part we'll edit. <laughs> yeah, see what it says? I was, uh, see how I knew that? I was like, uh, we're going to buy some cars here. <laughs> that's an amazing car. So is this. These don't... It's weird, these cars. They don't bring the money like you'd think. Excellent what? example of a 59 Thunderbird. Oh, it's beautiful. In near mint condition. It's a beautiful Thunderbird. But I mean, that's a cheap car right there. I mean, Very you beautiful. see my old ass Cadillac, but I wouldn't take less than 1205, 125 for that. So you mean to tell me another 14,000 you could have this? I mean, that's 10 times the car of my Cadillac. Does that got the steering column? It does not. This is too new, old. It's too old, yeah. My the, uh, two years later is when they did the slide at Swingle Lake Gainesville. 1961 was the first year. So as I was telling you that I like driving my stuff, so I always pick up an old car. Two years ago for the winter ride, I drove a 64 Thunderbird. Nice. Yeah, it was mint. I sold it in the spring at an auction. People always give me crap about uh, they just, they give me shit about driving your car. And I'm like, well, do you want to buy it? Yeah. And they're like, no, then I'm like, I'm going to drive it because I want, and I get it, but my Cadillac was left for dead. I brought it back to where it is. It's not like I took something like this and drove it. Come on. That is a good looking car too. I know it's newer, but. That's a uh, one of one car. Only one that exists in the States. It's a uh, 2006 BMW M6 Haman. What's that mean? Uh, Haman is a uh, motorsports company out of Germany that takes uh, these cars and uh, turn them into Haman vehicles, which includes uh, engine modifications, exhaust, body kit, carbon fiber roof, carbon fiber interior accents, wheels, tires, brakes. It's about a $30,000 package in addition to the $106,000 purchase price of the car. And what's, what are you guys asking for that? We're asking a very reasonable 34,000 for the car. It only has 42,000 miles. No, you have enough, you can buy that. <laughs> this is a- That's a uh, badass car. Yeah. I got a, I got a 14 Shelby. Mm -hmm. I got way more than that into it. I mean, that, that car looks, you can see your, you, you know, I don't know if that's anybody's cup of tea, but that's out here for sale at Jack Frost. And you can literally see yourself in that black paint. I can see myself standing here. All right. All right, guys. We just made our way into Jack Frost's um, original workshop. 
And there again, a couple things have been moved, like got desks. This is where um, the gentlemen run the office. This is considered their office, but just this little spot here. The rest of it's all Jack's workshop originally. Up here was his sign. Remember I told you that he had an electrical business and that was the original sign. Here's one of Jack's original lights he did and there's one of his employees working on it, you know, for movie studios and movie lighting. That's how he made his money was into the electrical and then he had a passion for cars and Rolls Royce. But come around this way and look at these bends. Now, I don't know myself how hard to find parts they are, but these bends are full of Rolls Royce parts right here. Rolls Royce ghost parts. Right here, Rolls Royce tail light parts. Top and side curtain. It's amazing all the stuff that is in here. They're all still here. When Jack passed away, it just, everything got left right here for five years until the new owner bought everything and he wanted to keep it. And remember I said Jack was into Rolls Royce, but look, I knew it. I knew he was cool. And I knew before long that we'd find it. I knew there would be some Harleys here. They just, every guy that's into cars is into bikes too. And I just, these ain't for sale, right? Kind of? Maybe. Honestly, I know you're not gonna believe me, but my friends will believe me. I've been searching for that bike forever, that color of paint. I mean, that's the one I'm looking for, but I want an unre, I can come buy them restored. I could restore it, but I just, I want an original. But now we're going into Jack Frost's trophy room. I can't wait to see it. Check out how cool this building is. I ain't got anything to have the building. But we're gonna go in the trophy room, so let's see what that looks like. This looks like we're just walking back in time. Look at this, guys. This is amazing. What, look at this, come in here. What is this big picture here? This picture was of an important business meeting he had overseas. So Jack was traveling overseas and all over. Look at, oh, you no, know, come in and scan in. Here's some more of his electrical lighting. This guy was insane. It was crazy. He was such a badass. I'm going to go to the States. Here? In Paris, in front of Big Ben. Here he is in Paris with one of his Rolls Royces. This picture is amazing. And then look at all the stuff. Now all this is untouched. All untouched. None, nothing staged. This is how he left it. So nothing is staged. He left this stuff like this. Of course they cleaned it and put it back the way it was. God, could you imagine the meetings that went on there? Unbelievable. We gotta go over here and see what he's got on these walls. Jack Frost did a lot of lighting for Ford. A, a lot? Th this wall, uh, there was a shelving unit on this wall here um, that was missing when we bought the place. So we had these photos uh, hung here. But well, Jack did a lot for Ford. This was a closed circuit uh, um, commercial that he was doing for Ford with all of his pieces of lighting equipment. Did you get a picture of that, no. See, tiki's have been around forever. <laughs> Look at that tiki. Look at all this. Just zoom in on, you know, close, but just move slow so the people don't get headaches watching. There's more of his lighting. Man, it's just crazy. I mean, look at this dinner picture. This is when people went to dinner. Look at everybody's dressed nice, a tie. Such cool shit, it's unbelievable to me. Talk about history. These filing cabinets are filled with literature from the 20s and on. These were all of Jack Frost's vehicle manuals, 
uh, service records for his vehicles, uh, literature from the Rolls Royce Owners Club, Rolls Royce Limited, Relations Department. Have you just spent hours out here looking at stuff? Days. Days? And Wait. I still haven't seen it all. That is so cool. Look at all this stuff. He was featured in the Detroit News, um, and that's the uh, uh, poster there. Read about Jack Frost antique car hobby. Nice. Unbelievable. Beautiful. I love the lamp on the table. Like we would put that in our house. Me and my wife would that's the era. That's cool. All right, we're gonna get to the car I'm gonna look at. <laughs> So now we're at, what is this called? This is our studio. This is, we're at the studio now. And this barn, this barn was moved here a hundred years ago. We don't know from where. Really? They just, we the barn where. was moved here a hundred years ago and they don't know from where. Take a shot of the driveway coming in. Is this place cool? Unbelievable. All right, we're going in the studio, guys. Luckily it's not snowing today. this barn you guys all right guys so after all of this super cool shit and after seeing the Jack Frost Museum and seeing the guys restored Rolls Royce he was all over the world and now we've come why what brought me to Jack Frost Museum come on in and see it and you guys that know me and follow me will understand completely. The 57 Chevy? No. There it is. There's supposed to be a big band or something, but we don't have a band. But there it is, guys. 1970. The car is what? 79? 76? Okay, I can be wrong. I didn't mean to add that. A 76 Camaro, but this is uh, in its glory, 1982 or 3. I can remember driving that down, up and down M59 in Waterford, cruising the academy, cruising, uh, uh, we cruised down to Woodward and whatnot. It's probably super slow, but it's super cool in my eyes. So we're gonna check it out. <laughs> 